Okay, we're going to pick up uh, on the 31 Jokata in this video. We're going to go from 5, uh, which we finished on the first video, and we're going to go all the way up through 12. Okay? So, you came down. Well, actually, yeah, let's start here. So, we'll go review. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's a little bit more of an advance there, but do the camera angle, so I'm going to make sure. Um, you know, the steps are a little short right there. One five. So you have five. Now you're going to do a Renzoku. You're going to keep this arm. It's not going to come in. It's not going to just wrap around the side and cut like that. What you're going to do is you're going to keep this there. You're going to row forward. See that? This arm is going to open up like this. You're going to row forward. Build a house, get under the roof, protection, wrap, cut. It's five and six. So when you come from here, okay, five, six, okay. Seven and eight, same thing, uh, except you're going to be facing backwards, you're going to go the other way. So from six, you're going to Pivot parry. So it is, we get that springing vector back the other way. Okay. If you just pivot parry here and do that, that's just a movement. You're just turning a mob. Uh, so you want to really, anytime you make a movement, you want to engage your hips. You want to have that thrust and power uh, moving, at, whether it's forward or backwards or deceptively. Because if I'm here in number six, right, I turn here. All of a sudden, I cut and really spring back from that. If I just rotate, I'm in place. There's no real umph to it. There's no real uh, backwards attack. Okay, it's not as quick either. So that spring mechanism from your hips all comes from this vectoring of the foot up front. Okay, because the person back doesn't see you do this. Okay? So you do that. You spin. This comes up your center. You can either go back into it or go out into it. Either way. Okay. So experiment with it. No hard and fast rules. Put your own insights into the kata. Make it your own. All right. Follow good principles, but make it your own. Have some fun. Okay. So five comes down. Six wraps. Comes out, vector, up, strike, seven. And here you want to make sure you get elbows in, a good wrap, and a good turn. See that? The hip goes back that way, allows you to get off angle. Okay? So, I'm going to take you from backwards into seven and eight. Okay? So, five. Six, seven, eight. Okay. So five and six, seven and eight, same thing. The key is in that pivot parry. Okay. Key there is the vector out. So you're at eight. You're going to rise, and as you rise, raise the staff here. Okay. You're going to move forward a little bit. Okay. And you're going to engage here. And you're going to get that wide, that ground rotation here to a center point, which is at your hands. And you're going to get a rotation up there. Okay? So as you go forward, you're going to want this. Just play around with it when you're in this position, like this. Okay? Because you want to spin around here, the balai. High block. Okay? So those two. So here you are from a back to that foot. Gives you that nice spin. This here should envelop this way. Quail X here and here. Okay? You don't want to go like 
that. I'm going to go there, okay? So it's a good envelopment here. Good posture. You're centered. You lean forward, okay? So once you go right eye, it's a high block. Feet come together, okay? The high block. Step in vector, wraps, strikes, okay? And you come down to here, number 12. And we'll plug in the six count Kali after from the next video, okay? So, uh, let's take it from, so put it together, okay? So here we are, number one. Two, three, four, five, six, okay. seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, okay? So that is uh, up to 12 of the 31 Chokata. Enjoy. Kichimasu.